and forward it. Extend it forward and front away. Then we're going to lift the head up here. Allow the chin to raise as far up as possible. And breathe. Now we're going to raise the hands up. And then placing them behind it. Leaning back, allowing the head to drop and the heart to open up. And then leaning onto one hand, bringing one hand above us. Once again, and then this time it's threading it in between the gap and holding on to your spine or holding on to your hip, however far back you can reach, just grabbing on, allowing the hand to remain straight. And then slowly twisting ever so gently. And perhaps you feel some tension build, but as you breathe, that tension will also release. So when we're ready, we're going to bring that hand up. Breathing. And then slowly. When we're ready, drop that hand down. So walking over, spreading in and, and you feel a nice stretch. Travel all the way up from the shoulder into the hip. And on the wrist, bring the hands up. Again, placing both of them behind you, this time opening up the hands a little bit more and bringing out the feet, placing them onto the mat or onto the ground in front of you. Again, dropping the head back. And from here, as we drop the head back, we will push the heart space open and up. From here, we just sit up now, nice and tall. Feet are planted firmly in front of you. Taking the hands straight, connecting the elbows and the knees. Hands are out and extended. From here again, we're gonna do a couple of neck rolls. So gently let the head become heavy and rotate. And then placing the hand onto the feet. So making sure that the knees are wide enough for us to come all the way down, holding onto your feet. Knees are nice, like they're bent. So even if you feel like you know you need to bend them a little bit more to reach the toes, go ahead. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to lean the shoulders and the forearms against the legs. We're going to connect the hands in the center. Okay. 
and we can bow the head. You can connect the fingertips to the forehead if you like. Just a moment of grounding, focusing, being at one with yourself. And breathing. And from here, we're going to connect the feet together. So if your knees come up like this, when your feet are connected, that is fine. You can put pillows underneath if you like to support the knees. And if not, let the legs relax, holding on to the feet. From here, we're going to tuck in the elbows. And then let the spine become nice and tall, lifting up the knees higher. And then we're ready, closing the eyes, dropping the head. And if not, just standing up nice and tall onto the heel of the foot. And if you can, bring the heels up from the mat, balancing on the tailbone. Dropping the feet gently, and then this time we're going to lean forward once again as far down as you can go, bringing the forehead towards the toes. Then again, if you cannot connect, that's fine, however, wherever is comfortable for you. And again, extending the hands out in front of us. Raising the hands once more and then placing them onto the knees. Stuffing the spine. Perhaps closing the eyes. And being present in this moment. Okay, from here, we're going to extend one leg outward. We're going to bring in the heel of the foot, laying the foot flat against the thigh. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself over, leaning on the extended foot. Perhaps connecting the forehead with the knee. And if not, just reaching for the back of the foot. You can bend the knee a little bit if you need to. Otherwise, extending outwards and connecting. From here, we're going to lift up the leg. We're drawing in the heel. And you can bend the knee here if you want to. I'm just going to bring in the foot toward our center. And then if you can, extending it up or out. So it's up to you. If you can bring it in and just bring it out slightly, great. And if you can extend, then you can extend, lifting up the foot. Good. 
bringing in the heel and then gently letting go, squatting over. Again, traveling the hand down, bending the knee if you need to, connecting, placing the forehead on the knee. And then whenever we're ready, lifting up the head, drawing in the arm, holding it towards our center, and then extending out as far as we can. And then if you want to, you can tuck in the foot ever so slightly. And then bringing in both of the feet, again, sitting in a comfortable position, stacking the spine nice and tall. And from here, we're going to do a couple of more head rotations, let the head feel heavy, allow gravity to guide the head as we swing it around. Okay? Take your time, swinging the head, let it become nice and heavy. Okay, hope everyone is doing okay, feeling a little bit less tense and perhaps a little bit more centered, a little bit more present with your physical and spiritual self. Okay, I invite you all to just sit with your legs out in front of you. And again, if you're sitting on a chair, just extend the legs out. From here, we're just going to pedal the feet back and forth. Opening up those nerves. Warming up the leg muscles. Okay, and whenever you're ready, we're going to place one leg on the side of the leg that is flat. So you can bring it up or towards the knee, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay. We're going to hold on to that knee, so we're clasping the hands together. We are hooking the arm on the knee, we're trying to open up the knee as much as possible. Okay, and then we're going to let go of that knee. We're going to place the hand behind us. And then we're going to twist once more. You can hold on to the body if you need to. Just guiding yourself. And try and keep the elbow straight. Looking past the shoulders if you can. Okay, gently looking around first. And then bringing the leg out again in front of you. We repeat this on the other side. Leg comes over first. Straightening out that knee. Placing the hand behind you. And again, twisting. Trying to keep the elbow straight.
Okay, coming back into our stuff pose, we both legs out in front of us. Again, just pedaling the feet. Perhaps rotating the foot on the ankle. That's it. Now again, we're going to do the same pose now. This time, because we did a slight warm up, hopefully the second part should be a little bit easier. Bringing the leg over once more. And then this time, bringing the foot inwards. I know for some people, this might be simple enough. For those who do find it a little bit more difficult on our knees, be gentle. If you can, you know, if this is as far back the leg goes, so be it. Um, as long as it's not straining, or you don't feel any sharp pain, just bring it in the knees. So bringing that foot, and then again, sitting up nice and tall. This time we're going to press the elbow on the back of the knee. Again, connecting the hands. Being present, being connected. And then we're going to drop the hand. We're going to lean over. Dropping the head. And just dropping and kneeling forward. You can use your hands as claws, as we often do in yoga. And just leaning over. And this will hopefully just strengthen the shoulder. And then we'll repeat on the opposite side. So leaning over, digging the fingers into the ground. Strengthening the shoulder. Okay, and then again from here, we're going to extend the hands. Our legs, one knee is still up. You know, wherever the foot is on the mat, allow it to remain there. And just extending the hands out. Again, lifting up now this time. So, you cannot see me, but just move in the centre. So we're opening up the hands, we're grasping onto the, the ground. And we're leaning the hip inwards, and we're going to open up the heart space. We're working very specific areas in the hip and the lower back, and especially this side of our back. Like this, and we're going to relax. Slowly draw back and extend the legs outwards. Okay, take a moment to yourself. And you will feel like one side of the body has had a slight workout and we repeat the other side to balance it out. But automatically you can feel the effects in comparison. Hopefully. Okay, so I'll sit opposite. Again, just following the same poses. Leg comes over first, drawing in the leg under you or as far back as you can, placing the elbow on the inside of the knee, connecting the hands, being present and mindful. Already placing the hand behind you, leaning over, pressing the hand behind you again, twisting inwards, 
And then when you're ready, placing both of the hands out. When you're ready, bringing in and leaning over the body far over as you can. You can use your chin as a guide. Draw an imaginary line connecting the hands. And then leaning back and then retreating. Leaning over and pair it with some breath left. In through the nose and leaning over, exhaling, and we draw back. Gently turning the body. And now this time we're going to lay down flat onto the ground or onto your back. And take up as much space as you need. Let the body become nice and heavy and fully grounded. From here, we're going to draw up the hands once more, connecting them together. And then clasping them. And whenever we're ready, we're going to draw up a knee. Lifting the toes. And then hooking the hands around the knee as we push knee to chest or knee to chin. So how far back we can bring the knee. From here, our hands are going to travel to the bottom of the leg, the bottom of the foot. And again, clasping, drawing up the knee as far up as it can go. So gently coming into the stretch, step by step. Now again, over here, you can choose to, to include the pose. And if not, you can remain in this position. So you can extend the leg up. Or you can choose to remain like this. Lead out to you. Breathing and then when you're ready, gently in letting go, allow the leg to relax. And allow the body once again to become nice and heavy and grounded. Ready. Clapping the hands together, shoring up the knee, hooking it around, bringing the knee up. And then when we're ready, we're going to walk the hands down to the bottom of the foot and then lean forward and push the knee back. When I mean lean forward, it just means Relaxing the body and automatically your body will lean forward slightly as you push the knee back. And again, you can choose to remain in this position or you can extend the leg up here. Okay. We're going to now bring up both of the feet. We are connecting the feet together. The knees are relaxed. 
just holding them comfortably. And then you can choose to close the eyes here. Coming into laughing baby pose. So we're just disconnecting the feet. We're holding onto the bottom of our feet. The knees can be bent as much as you like. Just opening up the legs. And if you choose, you can rock if you want to be. And perhaps. If you want, you can just extend them upwards even a little bit more, increasing your threshold, increasing the balance. Okay, when you're ready, allow the feet to come down, placing them flat on the ground. And this time, our hands connecting in the middle. Are now going to reach over past the head, nice and straight above us. And from here, we're just going to lift up the rib cage. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, take the body, draw in the hands. And then slowly release the legs, drop them down once again onto the mat. This time closing the eyes, coming into corpse position, and then taking up as much space as you need. Allowing the breath to come back to neutral. We want to all relax and put on some music or some meditation. So really take this time to be present with yourself, to be connected with yourself, to be at one with yourself. Breathing in and out, shallow, shallow, literally just allow the body to relax, be at peace with yourself. You're only a touch away. All right, I hope everybody is feeling nice and relaxed. And then slowly, we're going to come into, hopefully, a deep sense of concentration or meditation. So, starting from our toes, we're going to give our toes a wriggle, bringing our awareness to them, Marking our starting point. And then slowly bring our attention into the foot. Let the legs relax. Traveling up the legs into the knees. Coming into the thighs and then slowly bring our awareness to the hips as we slowly travel up the body into our abdomen, easing into the rib cage and then resting in the heart space.
Be mindful of your breathing, the rise and fall of the chest. And then bring our awareness to the shoulders, into the arms, and finally at the fingertips. Keep your fingertips and your fingers a wriggle, perhaps opening and closing the hands, bringing our awareness to them. Be mindful of how much our hands do every day, constantly. Appreciating all that our physical self does for us every day. And then with a long exhale. We're gonna bring our awareness back to the heart space. This time, traveling up the throat, into the jaw and the face, behind the eyes, and finally, bringing our awareness to the head, to the very last hair, allowing it to melt away, round itself, the entire physical being now resting, making space and room for our spiritual self. Allowing ourselves to come into a state of concentration and mindfulness. Whenever you're ready, take your time. Allow yourself to come into the present moment. Gently coming back into our seated position.
And then, my friends, that is the end of our session today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you all have a great rest of today. How's everyone doing? Thank you, Malika. That was wonderful. But the music was music was breaking in between. Okay. We can't hear properly. Okay. Next time I'll use my speakers. Yeah. This time I yeah, use my yeah. phone and then I use my laptop. And now the other time I'll yeah. Just try a different way. Sometimes it's works. Yeah. It exactly. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I'll stick to yeah. the speakers next week. Yeah. Just try that a different way. Yeah. But yeah. it was a wonderful session. Really enjoyed oh. it. Yeah, thank I you very much. I'm going to relax and completely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then take care, everyone. Have Thank, a you. Great Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Take her out from the